Okay, you guys, let's get into actually lighting this smoker. Before we get started, a quick note. I'm doing this up on this table because it's a little bit easier for you to see, but know that I would normally do this on the ground in an area where I wouldn't be concerned about lighting anything on fire, right? So it's fall here in Texas right now. It's not super dry, so I wouldn't be concerned about lighting it on the ground in the grass, but just be mindful of fire safety um, where you are and given your weather conditions and how dry it may be. Also know that my bee smoker has this cage on the bottom, so it protects uh, whatever I set my smoker on from melting. Um, if your smoker does not have a cage on the bottom, you wanna be really careful. Don't set this on anything plastic or that can melt, right? So I would be totally fine to light my smoker on this table, but I've put a piece of cardboard here just to demonstrate how we're going to be always mindful of fire safety. Okay, so now, you're going to learn in a little bit here how the charcoal from the last time you lit your smoker makes amazing kindling for the next time you light it. And I'm gonna show you how to make sure you have that available. So the first thing you wanna do, if you have a smoker that was lit from last time, is dump out the stuff from last time. This is really gonna help you get your smoker lit really well. Now, if you're lighting a smoker for the first time, you have what we call a virgin smoker. Virgin smokers are a little bit higher, harder to light simply because you don't have all this um, gunk, this black gunk in here. This really helps your smoker light pretty easily. So just know that if you're lighting a virgin smoker, it's a bit harder those first few times, but again, you got this. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bit of my tender, which which is newspaper. Now keep in mind that a smoker needs oxygen. Do not crumble this up very tightly in a ball. This is not going to light very well. You have to have oxygen in here for this to catch. So I like to um, kind of ball it up with kind of the little tendrils down, make sure it's pretty breezy in there, right? You've got air around the paper. So we're gonna light this first. Now remember, this is not going to stay lit very long, so it's important that you have your kindling ready to go. So I'm gonna light my paper, and you guys, Fire always needs to go at the bottom. I don't know how many students I've taught and we've lit smokers a dozen times together and I still find beekeepers packing their smoker full of fuel and then lighting the newspaper at the top. That does not work. Fire must go at the bottom. So start with an empty smoker, fire at the bottom. Okay, so let's get our tender lit. Okay, so I have my smoker lit here. Gonna give it a few pumps, make sure I see some flames coming. This is when I start adding my kindling and I have lots of kindling here. I have leaves, I have cardboard. Remember, don't suffocate your fire. Don't stuff it full. You want to add a little bit of fuel, a kindling, pump the fire a little bit, add a little bit more, pump the fire a little bit, okay? So again, guys, this is where so many beekeepers stop. They see smoke and they say, we're good to go. This is only gonna stay lit probably three or four minutes because you've stopped at the kindling stage. And we don't even have that much kindling in here to begin with, right? So I'm using my hive tool to kind of move things around, making sure that we're getting lots of oxygen down there, okay? Okay, I'm gonna add some more kindling. We have a fire lit, it's lit, right? But again, it's not gonna stay lit very long. 
Now that I feel really confident I've got a fire that will last me a few minutes, I'm going to start adding in some firewood. Again, these are the chunkier, just sticks I find on the ground. Make sure they're dry. You can use wet wood in a smoker, but it has to already be lit. You can't light a smoker with wet fuel. Once it's already really hot, wet fuel actually smokes really nicely. So again, don't suffocate your fire, okay? Use your hive tool, move things around, get oxygen down in that smoker. Just adding more fuel. Also be mindful, you want to fill your smoker. Too many people will put two sticks in there and then go away. It's not gonna stay lit very long. So you wanna have a nice balance between giving oxygen, but also getting lots and lots of fuel in there. Okay, so I'm pumping it a little bit more, making sure that everything's catching. This is good smoke, good smoke. You're aiming for cool smoke. Okay. You guys, I think we are good to go. And if you like, once you get your firewood down in there, if you wanna add a little kindling on the top of the smoker, it's not a bad idea because kindling again smokes really nicely. So we can come back and we can add cardboard and leaves on top of the smoker here. We're ready to work bees.